Hello, my name is Sean Castillo. I'm the Extension Soybean Specialist at Purdue University. Today we're going to be talking about taking stand assessments across your soybean fields. There's a number of things we need to look at from the field itself to the row spacing. Now let's go ahead and take a stand count with the hula hoop method in drilled soybeans. These beans are drilled in seven and a half inch rows just to give you a frame of reference. Uh, come down, this hula hoop is 34 inches in diameter. And so let's go ahead and count them out. So one, two, three, four, five, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So I have 26 plants within this area uh, matched up with 34 inch diameter, 26 plants, and in this one area is a plant stand of 180,000 plants. So I walked across the field and uh, placed a, a random throw in the field to look at the stand count. And uh, as we look down here, that random toss, uh, I'll count the plants out here. You can already tell uh, that it's pretty sparse, especially compared to the previous one we've shown. So counting out, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So counting 13 plants within this hula hoop, again, the hula hoop's 34 inches in diameter, and, and pulling up, we've got 13 plants, puts us at 90,000 plant stand. Within this area is 90,000 plants. Uh, this is kind of a gray area. If we had a whole field like this, It'd probably be okay. It's not ideal, but it, it's not worth uh, coming back and replanting. Each field's going to be different. You're going to have some fields that are 70, 80,000 plants that you're going to leave because they're fairly uniform, whereas you have other fields that are 90, 95,000, 100,000 plants, but there's pockets that are pretty bare, and so uh, those areas might need to be spot planted. But in case you don't have a hula hoop with you, but you might have a, a tape measure, you can still do a linear method. Uh, again, the hula hoop's probably the best with the drilled, but as we go into wider rows, a linear method is, is awfully nice. You pull out 21 inches, and 21 inches of four, so one, two, three, four, four of these rows is one ten thousandth of an acre when they're seven and a half inch rows. That's an awfully small area, so what I like to do is to count that twice or to double it. So instead of just 21 inches, I'll pull it out to 42 inches. So in 42 inches, I'll count four rows that are seven and a half inches. That's two one ten thousandth of an acre. As I count those plants, I'll divide it by two and then multiply it by 10,000. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 6, 27, 28, 29, 30. So 30. We have 30 plants within these two one ten thousandths of an acre. 30 divided by 2 is 15. Take it times 10,000. That stand is 150,000. 